I thought it was welded in, it was so tight. We fall with that thing. It, it took probably three hours to get that one bolt out. It was just to the inside of a tube. It goes through a pipe there. That pipe was full of dirt and just frozen there. I guess it'd been in so long. But we kept working it back and forth and hammering it, beating it, levering it, everything else. She finally gave up. So we're good. It's time to, we got the carriage back on. It's time to put the dozer on and start hooking up hoses. I damaged a couple trying to put it on the other day with the loader carriage on it. So I'm gonna have to change a couple hoses. That's why I pulled the loader carriage off of the dozer blade and put it on for it by itself first. And that's where we're at. So probably tomorrow, I'm gonna try to put that blade on. Okay, I'll get back with you. We got the dozer out of the building. She's running and driving. I don't have the blade on, but I'm getting ready to put it on. I got it real close, but we're gonna have to do some stuff. Got some old lines. We got several old lines and we had a couple I actually damaged trying to, when I took it off. So this one that goes from here back there, we're gonna change it out. Then there's another one that goes back there. One runs on each side there. Right there, the metal. They're not in too good a shape. I'm thinking about going to rubber hoses with them. We got it out. We got it power washed. It's a lot cleaner than it was, but it's out of the building. So, get the hoses. It's the day after Christmas, so there's not a whole lot I can do right at the moment. But gotta get the hoses, get the hoses back on. I'm gonna have to put a water pump on. It started leaking some. But, uh, okay, and that'll be ready to paint, put a light in, it'll be looking good. Maybe put a top on. But, working on some other stuff while we can. I'll just increase the size of those walls. That's a lot, it's big, it's gigantic. <laughs> it'll do better. It'll do a lot better than it did. I only had two boards on it. But, uh, I just like to be able to haul a lot of demolition debris or stuff like that, limbs. Kinda got it looking like a little bulldozer. Kinda, kinda had the idea of a struck mini dozer in mind when I was starting on it. It's got a hydraulic transmission right there. Got a blade on it. That's not a factory blade. I think if it's a factory blade, I'd really be on that end. That was actually built by a guy that uh, I bought the trencher from. He did a good job on that. Then we got a jet ski. It's not getting any power to the switch up here. We're gonna see if we can get that going. I don't know, maybe sell it. Try to use it, I don't know. What do you think? Let me know. We might get that going too. But, big thing I want to make my video about today. <laughs> At long last, I have a plasma cutter. So somebody reviewed this one on YouTube. <clears throat> and he, he convinced me. Not expensive. It was uh, $200. It's a BTC 500D. I don't know if it's the DP, I don't know. But uh, it's uh, 110 or 120, 240. Uh, you can run it either way. And he was cutting over half inch thick steel with it. And it was only $200. That's amazing. Uh, he, he did a lot of cutting tests with it. It cut really nice. So I'm gonna unbox it here and see what it looks like.
Small is lightweight. It's uh, one thing I like about this. It already had the air dryer set up. Air inlet on it. Everything. It was pretty complete. Didn't have to do very much at all. It's set up for 220, but I believe it comes with an adapter in here. All you have to do is plug that cord in to the extension cord, and you can run it on one tier. Let's see. Yep, right there it is. There. Plug it off 220, 110. You don't have to go making a lot of changes and stuff. One thing the guy said is, why they put this in here? You don't need it. It doesn't. I don't know exactly what you need it for. Pretty decent ground clamp. It's a, got a good grip. Should bite good. There you go. It comes with uh, all your consumables. You tough on tape there. And there's the steamer. Is that what you call them? I'm not sure. But uh, we'll get it together and we can find something to try it out on.